Good morning. So we're off to two jobs this morning. First one's uh, fire alarm check, but we won't get any footage there. So uh, it's just going to check some fire alarms, make sure, make sure they're working for the tenant. The second job then is to fit this lock. Let me just flip the camera if I can. So yeah, quite a busy morning. Um, hopefully we get some footage on the on this job, fitting the ICO smoke alarms and the fuse box fuse board. Uh, anyone has a guess how much it costs in materials? Uh, start the job, first thing we do, safely isolate. Uh, before we do a board change, make sure it's all nice and safe for us to work on. Then we dismantle the test internally and dismantle the board, which has already been done by my colleague Wayne, who's just lurking over there somewhere. And uh, we strip the board out, keep you up to date and all the way soon. Here we got the boards mounted on the wall. A bit of a struggle, the tail's a bit short, but we've managed to move it across a couple of inches to give it back to us and uh, keep you updated. So as well as the ICO smoke alarms, we are fitting the ICO carbon monoxide detector, the EI208. Just double check in the manufacturing instructions. Um, good alarm, it's got the audio drum link so we can show compliance as well. We can test through the audio link, which I'll show you in a moment's time. Um, and show compliance because we're going to fit it just sat on the windowsill here next to the boiler uh, just to show that and then we'll get rid of the old run check that in the bin uh well not the bin in the wee waste right so i'll stop here and i'll show you uh get the audio link up on screen so you can see it okay so open the app uh click on the download from the audio click on auto uh, press the start record button then we'll hit the alarm uh test button a couple of times so we get the audio link start it'll send off a series of beeps uh, through the audio system which tells the app itself um, all the relevant information the stats the alarm etc once that's complete then we can view the report as you can see here everything's fine it tells us when it was all the information then we can set the required fields for the alarm then it starts the alarm location where it's being fitted uh, and any other relevant information we might need to because uh, we're doing the carbon monoxide alarm uh, we'll have to scan the barcode on the bottom of the device uh, which you'll see in a second here we go uh, which will then give it some more relevant information from the QR code That then adds the relevant information to that report. We can then fill in further details as required. Once this is all complete, then we can then send it via email to ourselves uh, or and the client directly, uh, like so, and send it off. Yeah, so another thing picked up on the UICR, as you can see here, oh, it's an external socket, not secured properly, so we've got a lovely little black Knightsbridge one to replace it. Love them. Great little sockets, very nice, especially in black. Suits really well. So wait, I can are, you enjoying, uh, are you enjoying doing that, are you? Stressful. It's stressful. <laughs> <laughs> While Wayne's doing that, I'm going to go upstairs and uh, put some micro smoke alarms to make it the property compliant for fit for human habitation wheels. So we're using the ICO 3000 series with the RF modules. Uh, so just pulling in extra cables. Uh, we can pick it up from a local light source as long as uh, it's suitable. Which these aren't lucky enough because we've done a previously ICR, hence the reason for the board change and the smoke alarms so yeah uh keep up to date so way how is it putting a uh, 10 mil into a fuse board consuming it not too bad coming to the end now uh, one more one more cable to go and then a few more few tests uh, hopefully it all works uh, hopefully <laughs> it will be. So to test the ICO system, simple. Oh, once we all these have all been tested, ready to go to go. 
couple of clicks, you see the house RF module, red, yellow, bleep in. And there we are. Paired with the app, it'll give you a full report and you can show compliance. As you can see the completed report, when it has been emailed over, you have one for each alarm fitted in the property. Run out of battery on the phone job completed. Back to the office to complete certificates and hand over pack. Good evening. Just been out to a call out. Uh, customer's lights kept tripping the MCV. Uh, she said she had none to work done. The only thing she could think of was she was trying to change some light shades on the hall and landing and found this little beauty. I don't know if you can see it there. Twisted up copper or bare copper. Create a nice dead short as soon as you turn the landing on. Lovely.